Welcome to WRL Broadcast. I am Hate Mail, and I have our patron-only early release episode, so if you are a patron, you get to hear this before the sale ends. For everyone else, we will release it shortly after. And I am going to be doing Owlman. Let me just make sure I'm recording here. So I have not had a chance to test him out yet. So I am going to go ahead and skill him up real quick, and then we will see how he does in battle. So I think this is a fun new thing to do. A couple of my teammates aren't as impressed with him as we'd hoped to be. On paper, he looked like he'd be a red Steppenwolf. I still have some pretty high hopes for him, but let's take him to Legendary. I only bought one pack of him so far. I was going to go ham on him, but I've been a little out of control lately and <clears throat> need to slow it down a little. So if he's not super great, I don't want to go too crazy. So for Legendary, I was looking at him a little bit ago. I think I'm going to go with these upgrades first. I think they'll be the best ones initially. I know Loot thinks his 3 is probably the best one to take early, but I don't really... My goal isn't to really make him a super anti-evasion, though I think his basic is what you want if you're going to do anti-evasion. So let's take him into battle and take a look in Wraith Arena. This is a good Hal Jordan team. Actually, it's a terrible team for him. Let's go to a Mist or a team that's a little more balanced. Alright, here we go. So let's take a look at what he will do for us. Let's do a, just a regular Lex team since that's what's popular right now. Get our usual Mystics. Uh, let's take Wonder Girl, why not? She might just obliterate everything and then make it kind of worthless, but Let's see how he does. <clears throat> I do want to test him with Steppenwolf because I think that's where he'll be strong. And then also Harley Quinn MJ. I'll do that next, but just want to do a, a standard blah match and see how everybody does. So I think, see look, he's, he's already got a ton of turn meter. That's a good sign. Let's see, let's just see how he does. So yeah, he does a ton of damage. 46,000 to a blue. Pretty good. And then let's see, with Barda getting crazy. Kill him. Alright, let's give him more crit. Oh, that was a little too easy. We didn't really get to see anything there. So let's go into a little bit better match. Seems pretty decent to me so far, though. All right, let's see. All right, so here's another standard match. This one looks a little bit... Let's do a Steppenwolf team. I just want to see what... how he runs with him. We'll get down to Troy. Let's do a Harley Quinn MJ, just to see how he does. And they got to do a better job of making it so you can scroll through these things faster. Okay, so let's test this. This is the kind of team I wanted to test with him because I think it could be quite good. Because everybody's going to be critting all the time. And some for some reason, Doombox thinks that Trigon's bad. Look at all that damage he did. Alright, so let's get boosted up. Harley got the crit bonus. Now we got more crit. Let's call assist on her. Of course, Donna Troy, every time. So, he did pretty good damage there. Got some more crits. Donna Troy dies. Basic doesn't do much damage. Not bad for a green. Alright, let's see. Man, she does some damage though. I always like Harley Quinn MJ. I, I'm looking forward to a rework where she just does something else. Because the problem is, is that 
a lot of times you don't get to use her main abilities. Let's try that same team with Lex. Ooh, we're facing Lex. Oh, it's all blue. Ugh. What's up with all these green teams? Let's just refresh it and see if we can get a better, better team. Here's a tough one. 32,000. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Let's do Lex. You know what? Actually, let's keep Harley Quinn MJ. Let's see if we can nuke Wonder Girl early. Let's see how this goes. Because <clears throat> I really want to like Owlman because, you know, he's a representative of our Court of Owls. Or as close as we'll ever get because I doubt we'll ever see Talon. Let's buff and see if we can not get whipped too bad. She's at least got a call assist. Power Girl's got so many buffs. I'm not gonna do anything. Ah, now she's getting more buffs. Great. I'm not gonna be able to remove them all. Yeah, this is gonna go horribly. I'm not gonna be able to get through Power Girl. Nope, there's the Oblivion Whip. I knew that was coming. Yeah, Power Girl's just gonna absolutely destroy everything. She's so nasty in defense, especially if you don't have a way to deal with her. So let's just slot Wonder Girl in. She'll take care of it. But I just want to see how he holds up in a team like this. Because this is what you end up facing all the time, Power Girl, Wonder Girl. All the same nonsense. I know I'm buffing, it's dangerous, but I want to get some of those crits. That's what I want to see. Golly. Man, the Power Girl just... <laughs> and when is the AI that smart? The AI is never that smart. Alright, maybe it's our turn to do some whipping. Okay, now let's see what he does. Didn't even kill her. Yeah, I guess I kind of see where people are a little disappointed. That Wonder Girl. She is just ridiculous. Alright, now let's finish this off. I don't care what anyone says. Wonder Girl is the most OP player, character in the entire game. Hmm. Gotta say, all man isn't impressing me much. Not sure what. I mean, he had a ton of crits and he didn't do that much damage. He looks okay, but I think loot put him as a B. I think Bolzy said he's a B. Kind of lean in that direction, just based on these couple matches. And granted, this is a super small sample size, so it's hard to tell. Let's do do this team. Throw a Joker on there. So we get the heal immune. Where is he at? There he is. Hard to test some of these teams because Wonder Girl's on so many freaking teams. But thankfully she's not on this one. Joker does a ton of damage. I'm pretty impressed with him. The more I use him, and especially in Siege, the more I'm liking him. Alright, let's see if I can one shot this dude. That's a little better. Not bad. He definitely, given the team, when you're looking, you're getting all these hit chance ups. But the problem is evasion is not that threatening right now. Let's do one more match, and then let's see if I can find one where there's evasion. Let's see if he... Oh, wait. There we go. Batgirl team. Let's do 
do a little bit of a different team. We'll do hire gun deadshot to remove the one dude. And let's do do our own power girl. Let's give them crit heavy. Let's try this team. Just for something unusual. Let's see what Alman can do here. Of course. Oh, he didn't miss. Okay. So let's see. And Alman took a ton of damage from that dude. <laughs> Just hilarious how much damage Wonder Girl even did to Alman. <laughs> she kills him. It's just absurd. Absolutely absurd what she can do. Alright, well you guys get to see me lose two whole matches. Wonder Girl does 6,000 damage to a red, which is more than most characters do. And granted, she had 95 strength ups, but when does she not? Alright, well, he's not too bad. He's not too great, but he's not too bad. That was a stupid team, but not too bad. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this showcase. Just wanted to give you a quick quick look over at Owlman. Doesn't seem overly great. Doesn't seem bad. Kind of seems like a middle of the road. Obviously, it's not L5. Gonna have to test him out a lot more before I know exactly what he does. But wanted to give you guys a quick first look. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our full review later in the month. Hey everyone, it's Tootitron. Thank you for listening to WROL Broadcasts. If you like the show, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash WROL Broadcasts. You guys think if I go out of my way next siege to lose to hate a bunch, that he might send me those dirty socks of his? I hope so.